So good morning, this is uh, Saturday, the 2nd of April, and this is where it all begins. This is the start of where my van behind me, my home for nearly four years now, is going to be stripped out, not completely, but most of the way, in order to make it into a normal panel van again, I guess. And um, this is the start of the journey. This is where it all begins, our mission to go across Europe to the Ukraine border, delivering animal aid and supplies, and then hopefully spending some days on the ground, volunteering our services, looking after animals. So this is where it all starts. How do we transform a house of nearly four years into a vehicle that can be transporting aid to all the moggies and doggies of the Ukraine. Well, let's have a look and see how we do this, shall we? So here he is, everybody knows Neo, or maybe not everybody knows Neo. A 2008 Iveco Daily, three and a half ton long wheelbase. It's the 2.3 litre, 120 brake horsepower. He's been a really good home, good van to me. Even though lately he's had a few problems, etc. But all of those problems have been fixed. So let's have a peek inside and see how we're going to transform him. So as you can see we've come in and then there's like a living room area here to my left, a kitchen area to the right and as we walk down we have a wardrobe area with a small toilet at the bottom and then we have the bed here. The bed is over the, um, sits over the top of the garage carriage sits underneath these cupboards here which can be accessed from the inside. Bookshelf stroke broom divider, sofa that becomes a double bed if need be. We'll go right to the back of the van and then turn around. <clears throat> and then looking back towards the front you see living room area that's divided by the the bookshelf and the kitchen area on the left hand side <clears throat> and as we go forward we've got the bulkhead the only actual windows apart from the skylight above and then these two perspex windows are the only forms of light into the van to the cab. So the plan is all of this that we see in front here, the kitchen, all of that unit comes out. So that is all portable. And then as we go towards the back, this whole wardrobe unit here on the right hand side, all of that comes out with the associated shelving that's on the right hand side of it. We're going to remove the mattress and the bed frame remove all of the books and then we're going to empty the garage. I'll show you what's in the garage so you can see how much needs to come out of there. So here we are. The garage and workshop open to remove everything out of there. Bike, all of my spare tools, camping gear, etc, etc. We'll keep the spare tire in, and we'll keep the jack in, but then everything else, tools wise, bits on the door, etc, we'll get rid of. And just so you can see, 
there. Get another view. Into the back of the van. So that's the task. Uh, get as much out of the van as possible to make it as light as possible to travel. The only thing that will remain in there will be the sofa and the bookshelf, mainly because um, the central heating system, the diesel heater, all the pipes run through all of that and I don't particularly want to take any of that out. Um, and I also want the heater to work uh, so that we do actually have some heat in the back of the van for when we get to the other end. Because the um, sofa turns into a bed as well, so it gives us an, an additional space to sleep if need be. And um, so I won't be taking any of that apart, but everything down the left hand side of the van inside will all be coming out, and everything in the garage and the tool shed will, will come out and everything. So this is where it all begins, and uh, we'll see how much we can get stripped out today and how empty we can get it ready for the pickups from the various places around Yorkshire tomorrow. We're going to take everything out of the van and then basically we'll bring it into the workshop and just store it. Three. So it's probably taken me about best part of three and a half hours to empty the van and uh, make it back into a sort of transporter style van, which is what it originally started out as. I've ripped out the kitchen, the wardrobe, the toilet, the bed, taken everything out, everything out of the garage, everything out of the shed, um, clothes, books, knickknacks, you name it. It's actually quite frightening when I'm looking at it here now thinking, oh my god, that is a lot of stuff. Um, and I'm thinking to myself, probably half that stuff I don't use. So um, yeah, it's quite frightening really. But anyway, let's uh, take you into the van and you can see how empty it is. So now obviously with the kitchen gone, We've now got the whole of the side cargo door open. The uh, sponge and thing are off the uh, sofa. I'll probably still take those anyway because I might need a bed wherever we're going. But yeah, you, know, you can now see without the kitchen in, without the cupboard, that wall at the back there is the the back of the what I call the tool sheds so that's where the spare wheel is and the jack so I've kept that bit in because that was just going to be a bit too awkward to take out and it's actually quite nice being there because it does sort of act as a bit of a bulkhead for things in the back and it gives us a bit of a boot space for our bags with clothes etc but places to put things down on the floor, we can put things on the sofa, we can stack things up, so I can still get in and out of the cab through the um, partition sliding door there, cables taped up to be out of the way, lights are still working, heater still works etc. 
double check that it does. Yep. And then we'll walk around the back. So yeah, there is the empty garage space. So plenty of storage space. That plastic box will have our sort of snacks and bits and pieces of food and sort of um, little bits and pieces, torches, batteries, all sorts of things like that. So that's our kind of, um, I don't know what you want to call it really. Zombie, zombie cupboard. <laughs> and that's the framework of the bed all totally empty. So all of this we can put stuff boxes and bits and pieces on top of here. Cleared out the tool shed area so we can put our bags and bits and pieces into this space. Spare is there, jack is there, etc. And there it is. All empty. All empty, ready to sort of go on a 2,000 mile journey there, 2,000 mile journey back. And that's not including the miles that we'll be doing once we're over there, ferrying bits and pieces backwards and forwards. So, um, yeah, big transformation from a house to a delivery van. <laughs> 